Welcome, this is the Integrated Math 3 practice test for TN Ready. We're on this version of the test is question number 16. Marcus is starting a new business selling t-shirts. His goal is to sell a total of 15,000. So that means adding all the months together and that will be important for us later. So I may make a note or I may underline here to get it. During the first six months, he projects that the number of t-shirts he sells will increase by 20%. Anytime you see an increase by a percentage, you need to think wisely about how you're going to show that work. If I want to go starting at 400 and I want to say, okay, I want to know what the value is for the next month if the sales increase by 30%. So I need to do 400. If I only multiply it by 0.3, then I'll just find out what 30% of 400 is. That will not help me. I also need to have some component in there to keep the 400 as part of the original or a part of the new value. So I'll multiply it by itself. So that times that. It's a little bit of distributive. Then I'm going to add whatever 400 times 0.3 is. So if I wanted to make a expression that I could multiply a number by to show an increase of 30%, I would do 1.3. Same thing down here. I want to show an increase of 20. My number is, I have to multiply it by itself plus 0 0.2, which would be, I'm using this kind of as a, this A sub 1, which really looked like 91 there, which was terrible. Um, a sub 1 is kind of a foreshadowing, I guess. I'm mixing English and math together. Anyway. So there are a few ways that I could do it. If you really love to spend a lot of time doing stuff that will drive you slowly crazy, you're welcome to just choose one of these and then keep multiply, like we'll write 1500 down and then we'll multiply that times 1.2 and write that number here and do it all the way out until you get to the sixth month and then add them all together and see which one gives you 15,000. That is a way to get the answer. So for instance, if you didn't have, um, any clue about what to do in terms of what content they're asking you to really use here. That's an okay method to use. It's not the best, but you're only doing six months. But then you can think to yourself, well, that's fine, but I want to add a bunch of months together and I'm creating a sequence by saying, okay, it's 20% of this month and then whatever that is, it's 20% of that and then 20% of that. That's a sequence, but I want to add all those terms together. Well, that's a geometric series all day long. And if you don't remember the formula for a geometric series, they're actually really nice about it this time and put it in the um, reference page. So you at one point you hardly ever use the reference page, but they've added some things to it that actually make it sort of useful, which is a nice turn of events because it was essentially nothing before, but we'd print them out and whatever. Obviously, this is going to look like garbage, but at least you don't have to spend a month watching me try to make my handwriting look good. And of course, my scroll is extremely slow today. Forget it. There we go. All right. So now we're back here. The series value here is the 15,000. That's easy enough. And that 1.2, I'm going to put back up here, just as a reminder. The A sub 1 is the first term. We don't know what the first term is. That's the whole purpose of this question. 1 minus R. Now, th the problem here is you see R and your brain immediately goes, oh, it's the 20%, so 0 0.2, right? Uh, no, that's why we discussed the idea that it has to be 1.2. The rate that you're trying to adjust here, or your, sorry, your common ratio, rate, uh, your common ratio, uh, we're going to adjust this much every time. And also, this is a geometric sequence, which makes it a geometric series. You didn't notice probably up there, but there wasn't really anything for sort of an arithmetic sequence or whatever, but it doesn't apply here because it's changing by percent. Anyway, the big deal is to make sure that your R is 1. Point two. The n is the number of times that you're going to work it, and that's 6, of course. And then 1 minus 1.2 here. So now we're ready to move to the next step.
I could go ahead and work the um, calculation for this part, but it just it's not worth it. Now, 1 minus 1.2, yes, that's 0.2, and it is negative. Now, this is a calculator usable section, so I'm going to use a calculator for this because I don't want to do it by hand. Now you have to think, okay, I'm trying to get a sub 1 by itself. What's the furthest thing away from it on the same side of the equation? So here's the equal sign. This stuff's on at least in the numerator, so I need to get rid of the denominator. This is divide by negative 0.2, so in order to eliminate it, I'm going to multiply by negative 0.2. And then same thing here. So that will cancel this out, as you well know. And I have 15,000 times negative 0.2. And I get negative 3,000. And then I'm just left with this. So the relationship between my variable and this expression here is multiply, so I need to divide. So I'm going to do negative 3,000 here, and then I'm going to divide by 1 minus 1.2 raised to the 6th power because there are 6 months here. I'm also going to hit the directional pad to the right here so I'm not putting the parentheses after the exponent. And it gives me 1510. And that closest value is right here. So you'll see which of the following is the closest to the number, which means it's probably not going to be the exact number. So when you saw 3,000, it's real easy to jump on seeing that because you're not done with the last step. But just be careful about how it goes. Anyway, anytime you have multiple events that are occurring, it's changing by percentage, that's a sequence. Or sorry, yeah, it's a sequence. And then if you're adding all those values up to find something, that's a series. We don't do a ton of geometric series at any point. It's probably something you didn't spend a ton of ton of time on, most likely, in your class. So a couple review problems like this is probably not in your worst interest as you prepare for your 10-ready test.